CataractCoach.com, how to rescue this capsule rexus. It's run away and it's going towards the Zion attachment. Let me show you the case here. So rather than starting off by making an entry point into the anterior lens capsule with the cystotome, poking in the center there. Incision looks pretty good, good draping, nice dilation, looks like a posterior subcapsular cataract. Looks pretty routine. So there's a little bit of an opening with the cystotome. And now switching over to the capsular axis forceps. So starting with the forceps, a good grab of the lens capsule here and starting to bring it around. That's a really good size right about there. So now readjusting a little bit. Now watch what happens. Start is off okay, grabbing the capsule here. And then as the resin continues, the side of the incision is being hit by the forceps. AC shallowing or losing viscoelastic and there it starts to run out. Here's how we rescue it. We grab it and we're going to pull back and do that little maneuver. Named after Brian Little, that works really well. Bring it back into position. Continue the rexus. Looking good. Continue it here. And now let's try one more time with the resident. So we're going inside with the forceps. Good, good technique. Lining it up, grabbing the capsule here. Bringing it around. So far, so good. Now here's where you need to either re-grab it or flip the pivot. And so again, hitting the side of the incision, losing viscoelastic, it runs out again. So important to be able to rescue this. And we're going to use that little technique one more time. So grabbing the capsule edge here, going, pulling backwards, and then continuing to get it complete. So bringing it in, there it is, and it can be completed. Looks okay, not terrible. At the end of the case, here's what it looks like. IOL is pretty secure. You can see the two areas where it went out. It's not overlapping the optic fully in those two spots, but that should be of no consequence. This patient will heal up just fine. And the resident, I think, has learned an important lesson of how to rescue the capsorexis, but also the reason why it kept running out. And the answer again is failure to pivot, hitting the side of the incision, causing the anterior chamber to collapse a little bit, losing viscoelastic, and then the wrong force vectors. Remember a video we showed you long ago. If you want to have the perfect circle, the tips of your instrument end up tracing that capsular rexus circle for you, and then the rexus edge just follows. I want to encourage you to check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. A lot of great material, much more than you'll find here on YouTube. Plus, it's organized very nicely into categories. A lot easier to search than simply looking here on YouTube. Check it out.